get a drink, grab a seat, and listen to this. And I know what you're thinking, but Katie, I don't have time to get a drink. You say this all the time, and then I go get a drink, and I come back, and you're finished. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to try something a little bit different. So, trot on over there, leave this playing, and get you a nice cold water because it's good for the soul. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know, I am Katie Stone, and this is Stone Second Sense. Now, typically, I do shorts, but today, I just couldn't, I couldn't pass up sharing this with you in full context. Now, some of you probably seen some of the shorts I did on Kamala Harris's gun control nonsense. She went on a, she went an entire spill for about five, almost six minutes on gun control. Now, I don't think she intended to do that because, well, the journalist interrupted her a couple times because her talking points weren't actually answering the question. So without further ado, let's dive in to this video. Now, here we go. Kamala Harris. To talk to you about gun control. So, um, You've said you support an assault weapons ban and universal background checks, and we actually learned during the debate that you are a gun owner. Mm -hmm. um, but in cities like Philadelphia, handguns are responsible for most homicides and violent crime. The most recent FBI data shows handguns were involved in 59% of murders in our country. How will you address the issue of the use of handguns? Because a push for an assault weapons ban um, only addresses a significant but small part of the problem. Now, before she gets into this, what are, you, what are your thoughts? Let me know, how is Kamala going to handle this down in the comments? Like, how is she going to approach this? Because, listen, if you guys remember anything about Kamala Harris, the whole time she's been running for this presidential election this last two months, because she didn't actually get voted in, was uh, universal background checks, a.k.a. registry, uh, red flag laws, and um, an assault weapons ban. What of those do you think, of the talking points, is she going to be able to pull out and say, yeah, that applies to the handguns you're referring to? You let me know in the comments and we'll continue. So... First of all, yes, I am a gun owner, and Tim Walls is a gun owner, and we're not trying to take anybody's guns away from them. But we do need an assault weapons ban. Well, ladies and gentlemen, how do you approach a subject by saying, I'm a gun owner, Tim's a gun owner, and we don't want to take away your guns. Except, we are going to ban your guns. So, so let, let, let's just, let's just look at that for a second. So you're not going to ban, you say you're not going to ban, you know, take away my guns. Okay. Well, you're taking away the opportunity of my children and their children buying guns. So isn't that the same thing? I don't know. Let's just, let's just ignore that and get back to, to what she's saying. Assault weapons are designed to kill a lot of human beings quickly yes, and, and have no place and, and yes. have no place. I'm going to get to it. Yes and have no place on the streets of a civil society. We need universal background checks, which to your point about handguns, is about saying that it is just reasonable to want reasonable gun safety laws that say, we should do background checks that we ought to know. It's just reasonable. You might want to know before someone can buy a lethal weapon if they've been found by a court to be a danger to themselves or others. Yeah. Okay, okay, hold on for a second. Um, does the NIC system not already cover that, Kamala? Or are you admitting that the FBI system, the NIC system, is failing? Um, is that what you're admitting? Because universal background checks just mean a registry. That's basically all it means. You want a registry and that's how you get one. Um, it doesn't really apply here. But, but, you know, you know, let, let's continue. Mike just want to know. And respectfully, and we do understand that. But you, you're yes. asking about... Uh, I'm you're asking, asking specifically about handguns. Because many of those handguns are Universal purchased in places. Universal background checks yes. apply to handguns. Has anyone else noticed how upset Kamala Harris is that that journal journalist has interrupted her 
more than once. I mean, just the fact that she interrupted at all. I mean, Kamala Harris looks like she's about to explode. She doesn't, she clearly doesn't like anyone questioning her at all. And she definitely doesn't like the fact that her talking points aren't answering the question or that the journalist isn't accepting her talking points as, well, a reasonable answer. But we'll let her continue. Yeah, I do. But in many instances, those handguns aren't even bought lawfully. Yes. Which is why I also have been very adamant for years. In fact, I myself protested at a gun show probably 10, 15 years ago about the gun show loophole and why- Oh, the gun show loophole. Kamala, I am so glad you brought that up. And the reason being for that is, um, well, well, let's just, let's just let- Let's just let Dettelbach tell you exactly, exactly how he feels about that, all right? Because we clearly know that, um, well, let, let's just let him talk to you. <laughs> there is no gun show loophole, and there never was. So, uh, Kamala, what do you have to say about that because the director of the ATF says there is no such thing as a gun show loophole and there never was one. So so what do you have to say to that? Well, I guess we'll give you a chance to, to respond. <laughs> oh. We need to close that because what ends up happening is that gun shows at flea markets, gun dealers are not under existing law in the past required to register their sales and so you are exactly right that a lot of homicides for example a, a good number of them i have the just statistic in front of my mind um are committed with um illegally purchased guns and that's why we need no 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 hold up hold on hold on a second i don't know what registry you're talking about or what what the registering is having to do but Every, I don't, first of all, under current, under, hold on, what exactly did she say? She said under current law or currently in the past or something like that. Like, those two things contradict themselves right there. So you're not going to sit here and be like, oh, in the past, current law was, which one is it? And anytime I, I've been in the industry, in the firearms industry since 2017. Now, I know Kamala Harris is quite a bit older than me, but as far as I have ever been concerned, every gun dealer, every licensed gun dealer has always, always had to perform a 4473 and that person who is selling the firearm or buying the firearm would have to go through the NICS background check system, which is ran by the FBI. So I'm not really sure what she's talking about here. I think she's honestly, I think she's honestly just way out of, out of, out of depth here. She has no idea what's going on and she's just running her, her mouth. But we'll let her finish. To address each entry point in the issue, including universal background checks, closing the gun show loophole, and what we need to do as a general matter Wait, I just remembered something, guys. There is something I want to share with you guys. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, one second, one second. Um, here it is. You guys see that highlighted part right there? It says that Kamala Harris has already closed the gun show loophole. So why is Kamala Harris telling us that we need to close the gun show loophole and we need to address that when she and Joe Biden have already closed said loophole. So can someone explain to me why Kamala Harris is now saying that we need to close a gun show loophole that she's already closed? I'll tell you why, because Kamala Harris has no idea what's going on. She has no idea. She's running off of gun control, but she doesn't have the depth or understanding of how any of it works. And it's honestly sad, but just in case, you know, she hasn't closed the gun show loophole or whatever that means, I have one more for you. And that would be our friend, Massey. Media, there is no gun show loophole, and I'm glad you finally admitted that. Now I want to get to something else. I've said that publicly, and there never was. No 
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The ATF director has said it twice, well, multiple times. He said, there is no such thing as a gun show loophole. There never was. Thomas Massey just said it right there. And what did he do? He agreed with him. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think we can all acknowledge the fact that Kamala Harris really just... She didn't know what was going on there. She started struggling really hard. And, honestly, it was really sad. I watched almost the entire interview she did and it was a lot of talking in circles and word salad and we need to understand that we need to understand and and it was honestly embarrassing but I'm curious what are your guys thoughts I mean you saw almost all of that clip the only thing that's left is she turns around and starts saying that we need to approach it from a different type of thing but again the woman was talking about gun control and she didn't answer her the way that well made sense at all and I'm sure the girl that was asking questions was not a pro-gun person at all I'm sure she just was probably hinting that she wants her to jump after handguns but we all know how well that would work so um I, I, I'm curious to see how Kamala will address this in the future or if she will just avoid it at all cost. But uh, you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I'll pop myself big one more time so I can tell you guys farewell. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very curious. I want to know all your thoughts on this and Kamala Harris talking points. I mean, they clearly failed her here. But I'm sure there are people that would say otherwise. So what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. Do not forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel about long form. Should I do more of these? You let me know in the comments and we'll see you on the next one.